Only going to be a few colours in this painting, which is my my white for the background to, to set up my canvas panel. Blue and grey. Virtually blue and white, but there's going to be tidbits of grey and the most idious, bittiest, tidious bit of this quinacrinone magenta. Alright, so first off, I want to condition my canvas panel, okay? So I'm using my craft paint, it's soft student craft paint. And in the description below, I will have the paints that I've used and the brushes that I've used, okay? So if you're watching the repeat of this, they'll all be there in the description below. And we want some retarder. Retarder is a slow drying medium. Now I'm gonna use a gesso brush. I still haven't replaced my little two inch synthetic one from the hardware, so I've still gotta use this one. So I'm going to condition my canvas with this craft paint and retarder. All right, so I'm gonna get this on here. I'm just crisscrossing it into the teeth of the canvas. This is a good quality, art quality canvas that I've glued to my canvas panel that I make here. So it's a very good quality panel. So the person who buys this painting is going to have a good canvas panel. But not only the painting's done by me, the actual canvas panel is made by me as well. How's that? Alrighty, I'm going to leave that there like that. Now we need some blue. So I'm going to use just simple uh, phalo blue. Now I've got red shade phalo blue. And if you're going to copy along with this painting in the replay, it doesn't mean you have to have the red shade phalo blue. Just use the phalo blue you got, or even any colour blue. I'm only using phalo blue because it's what I've got. Now I need a brush to put that on. So I'm going to clean this. I'm just ladling, ladling up this flat two inch gesso brush. I don't really like it, but my little baby that I had, I forgot to wash it. So if anything, there's gonna be white glare there, but I'm still gonna put the blue paint there. So in my mind, I'm thinking where to put all this paint. I'm gonna go all the way around there like that. Don't muck around. I'm leaving the middle just like that. And see what I did? I've got it all on there without stuff assing around. You don't need to muck around too much. Now we don't want that too bright either, okay? So I've got that on there. Now I want to grab some of the craft paint again. So now I want to lighten up some of that blue. So I've got some more craft paint on here. And from the middle, I want to, the craft paint doesn't light that up as much as a, a um, the good quality paint. So I've just got this on there. I'm trying to keep that middle, which is still reasonably good. Um, very glary. Now I'm going to grab the um, titanium white, good old titanium white, and my good little rooster here, which is, I've sprayed the end of it, my pouncer. Now we're coming down here, and this is just so I can glare up the middle now with some good quality paint and we're stamping it on because I want a bit of glare here. There we go. Now I'm coming around the outside and I want to blend that. Not too much. I don't want that white too glary. That'll do. And I want to, I'm using my brush now just to sit down those bubbles that the pouncer made. Okay. Grab my paper towel, my roller towel, wipe. I always wipe the build up off. Now I want to merge this glare into that blue, okay? Just like so, wipe it. Take your time when you're doing this. I'm kind of rushing with this because I'm doing it live and no room for editing and 
with the demonstration. Now let's see if I'm going to keep that light. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. That's beautiful. I'm going to get out of this white bit in a minute so I can just concentrate on the blue because if I keep coming backwards and forwards, I'm going to contaminate that white with blue, which I don't want to do too much. That'll do. Now what do we need? I'm, I want to grab a fan brush and some good quality white. Um, oh, hang on a minute before we do see this. If you're at home painting, don't forget, that's how I neglected my other brush. I left it and I didn't clean it. And um, we're gonna do some clouds. I'm using my, this is my main cloud brush that I use. You might use a filbert or a round or a flat. I like using the fan. Now I do want to um, get out there. I've seen some people paint the clouds that I paint. And they're kind of doing them in lines like this. Okay. And blending just that bit down. And they're left with a lot of, I don't know, caterpillar like. You need to give, find the top shape of your cloud. Like, I'm going to make the top shape. There, I'm making the top shape here, which is here. It's going to come up here somewhere, right? I'm making a top shape. Is that picking that up? And then every now and then, give it some body. Give that cloud some body. I'm still making the top shape. And then give it some body. Don't be scared to give it some body. See? And all this, with your brush, of course, will be blended. And then you tickle the tops as well, so on. But you'll see better on the canvas. Getting that round shape there, it's better, it feels better. Okay. So this, this painting is pretty much uh, a cloud, <laughs> just all cloud really, layouts of clouds. Let's hope I do a good job of it. Okay. I've got to get more towel off here. It's um, filling up. Oh, wow, I just got realised I've got my coffee down there. Now, I've got to rinse the brush again. It's taking a lot of... Because um, you don't want to keep reloading it and contaminating the white paint. Okay. Now, I want to come around here starting to come up the right way. Well, what's happening? Oh, I need more white paint. There wasn't much on the palette. Hopefully I remember. Now we're doing some more clouds here. Put that down and blend that. Yeah, once you know the basic principles for perspective and everything's laying flat and level you get that right you can't go wrong with your paths and that inside things like that now i want to get a bit more this is kind of like my yumminess with the yumminess part just Easy does it. Easy does it. You want to leave the the snappingness of that white there. How's that looking in the monitor? Not too bad. That'll do. That's all right. Um, now we're going to keep going. So we pretty much keep going around here. Pretty easy, isn't it, eh? If you sometimes paintings are, look easy, but when you do them, you f you feel wow, that was quite a challenge. And if you enjoyed it, though, that's where you want to tell yourself, well, that's something I want to practice. You know, uh, I cannot state enough for beginners how much important it is to to practice procedures and subjects. And even like when you buy a new set of brushes or acquire a new set of brushes practice with those brushes 
how they're going to work for you. We want a bit more maybe here. So you can kind of see what I'm doing, can't you? Put that down there. And we want to blend this back. I've just got this two inch brush from the hardware store. This is one of my favorite ones I use for blending. See at the moment, I suppose my clouds, they have a three stage process. You, you've, you stamp them onto the, the surface like I've done, okay? And if you want to add shadow, let's come over here and add a bit of shadow. I'll just do it as a, so we've got, I've got some toning gray in the tube there. That's called toning gray, but don't worry if you haven't got gray, you can always make it out of black and white. And I have a smaller brush for me gray. I don't want to put too much gray here, but I'll just show you on say like this side here where the bottom is. Where are we? Let's, ah, oh, doesn't matter. I'll make them all the same. So now we're stamping the shadow on there, okay? I shouldn't have put the yumminess on this one yet. The, the shadow. So now that shadow is going to bleed and blend with all this mixture of white and blue that's already been blended up. So now I'm wiping that blending brush and I want to merge that grey into that white. I'm using a light toning grey because the acrylics dry darker. Now that's pretty much the second part. And then we're just adding the yumminess within that gray. So let's say here, that's coming around there. Don't think about it, just do it. And see that, I mean, th this bit here is looking a bit deculated at the moment, but we're gonna create bullshit by making that yummy. That's why I call it the yumminess. Now we've sit that down merge it within that gray wipe your brush squint your eyes as you look at it and this is just creating the dimension of your cloud now it's given it instead of that flat look i feel that probably wasn't a good cloud to do it on but pretty much that's it hopefully that looks all right but anyway i want to finish the clouds first that was just another demo of showing you uh, where are we now? We're coming downstairs. Oh, I want a bit more up here, maybe. So we'll put another mm -mm -mm there. And then I want to blend that back. Leaving the hard edge there and blending that back. Tickle the tops a little bit. Twist your brush around. Give it body as you're doing it, okay? How's that looking in there? That's fine. I just want to break that up a bit. I'm making a pillow here. The top, see, I'm making the top. Jinga jing jing. That'll do it. And then I'm going to blend down the bottom. So I've just wiped the brush on me paper towel. Stamp there, it's pretty thick there. Stamp there and then start blending. Stamp there, it's pretty thick there. Start blending. You'll get the concept of this one. I'll put the stairs in there because the stairs are going to be kind of merging with the side clouds there. Okay, how's that looking? Oh, I could have, I would have liked a bit of a, a bit more of a pillow in it, you know, a lumpy bit. There we go. See, I've just stamped that on. There we go. And we'll come down here now. So I'm coming down and I want it to fade at the bottom of the painting there, okay? Hopefully that camera's picking that up. I'll get down a bit. There's me top and there's me cloud. So I'm 
oozing this back off with the brush. And depending how much you're blending, how much you've got to keep wiping. You, as soon as you get build up, you want to wipe it off. Yeah, I'm liking that. Now see it's picking up the blue. And this is going to evaporate down the bottom there, somewhere like that. How's that looking? That's fine, because I'm, I'm getting kind of like a porthole, and I want the clouds coming in a way, I've got to get something on the other side, to house the stairway that's going to go to heaven. Now I'm just going to get the other side coming down here. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm putting this one in front of that one the way I did here. All right. And now, like I said over here, I'm not doing a skinny little line. I'm giving it body as I go, okay? So I can fade that down and build up with another one. So I'm gonna leave the top. I'll tell you what, my tape's not sticking properly because I've got it on that other sign up there and it's pulling it off, but that's all right. If you use a good quality paint, you get good, good results in your work. I've done that. Now I can um, bring another bit there. Bring another bit, that one more will do it. So like, watch, watch, I'm just gonna make the top, I'm billowing the top. I'm not worried about what's happening down here, bugger that. Got no time for that, I've just got time for the top. The bottom comes into play on its own, giving it a bit of body. There we go. Uh, we've half shaped it, and the blending brush is going to create the rest of the cloud's shape values and tones and shadows okay you want all that busyness in the cloud happening so it gives it that real aspect of a cloud every cloud has its own bit of busyness in there which is what helps it now back before we finish this this is nearly finished believe it or not um, that magenta um, I want the tiniest tidbit, and I mean the tiniest tidbit, and I want it in the grey. So I'm grabbing my little grey blending brush. I'll clean that first, because this is going to be the, the shadow. So let's grab some more grey. Where did I put the grey tube? Here it is on the table. So I want the grey. And... I want the ittiest, bittiest, tittiest bit, itty bitty, titty bit of that, because it's strong. How's it going? Too strong. So let's get some of that off. Now I'm going to mix it. See how I did that? I tested the waters before I jumped in the pool. That's what it's all about, eh? Now I want some more, but I'm not going to grab it from there. I'm going to grab a bit of this. See, and now that's got the slightest tone of purple in it when you're driving home from work or on a sunday afternoon back home look at the clouds in the sky certain times and you see these colors i see a lot here in australia all righty let's get that we've got 69 come on let's get 70 people watching eh? now let's go where do i want this uh i've done that one i'm going to do like this one here so this is just imagining oh, the pillows the fluffiness there it's got shadow so i'll do that grab that blending brush and i want to blend this gray into there everything's still wet the um retarder's working beautiful it's doing its job for me okay now you can't see it probably on the camera but that why I wanted that magenta in there, it's not just a flat grey. And see what that grey's done? It's added the incredibleness to the to the to the clouds. Alright, now I'm gonna add some here. 
just like that. And our yumminess will just crack the bullshit in these clouds. It'll make it stick right out then. Because see, this could have been dark here, but that's all right. We live and learn. Every time I do clouds, I'm still learning. I want some of this with some grey there. There we go. See that, how I did that? Just picking it up. And depending how heavy you... Like, I'm doing it very soft because I feel if I do it too hard, I'm going to virtually wash all that grey away. I won't even see it. Now, we've got pretty much a two-dimensional two clouds going on there until we put the yumminess in there. All right. So I'll get this one going. This will be the last one. The rest can be just blue and white. <coughs> it's up to you how finicky you get with your detailing when you do a painting. And just remember, whatever tutorial you're watching, use parts of it or the whole lot. You can do it your way. You don't have to do it the way we're showing you. You can use just a part of it if it's a landscape. All right, how's that looking? Let me have a look at that. I'm just cleaning my brush, rinsing it there. My big brushes, I'm going to wash at the end, maybe. Now we want some, oh yeah, I don't know. The stairs are going to go about here. So we want some sort of, just some, well, too much. You know how I do mist in the sky? Have you seen me do mist? Pretty much there. I don't want to disturb that cloud. I want to keep this as mist. Oh, what am I doing? I forgot to put the yumminess on those clouds too. So I'll just finish this here, what I'm doing, and then we'll put the yumminess on, okay? So, better clean that brush again. Pick up the titanium white, and now where we put the 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 greys, so like here, I'll crack the top of that cloud again and put some yumminess in there. Don't think about it, just do it. I'll show you on that cloud, and softly sit that yumminess into that grey, leaving the vibrancy of it, but not too much. You've got to play with it and work with it and. I'll have a look in the monitor in a minute and just see how this is looking. Not quite happy with that. Oh, it's done some sort of progress. That's the yumminess. Mixing with the grey, giving it a third, if anything, dimension. Oh, how's that? Good enough. So I've pretty much got to do that over where I've did all the grey now. Just giving it that third dimension. See, I'm twisting the brush as well. So many ways you can manipulate paint into clouds. And probably down here, some yumminess. Don't let this confuse you trying to copy every procedure I'm doing. Look at the layout and think, okay, there's clouds there. So if you're happy with the way you do your clouds, you do them your way, okay? And I think this one needs a bit more yumminess put in there. So you're just sitting it down and it adds a third dimension to the grey. How's that looking? Well, we can keep doing that until the cows come home, but that'll do. All right, so now we pretty much want to do a stairway. Let's say my middle point is there. Let's say, can you see that little hook hanging off there? So if anything, I'll grab something to kind of, where are we? So I want a, a stairway somewhere around. I want to come to the edge. A bit more, maybe here. All right. There we go. And there. That can come down a bit. That'll do it. Now, I want a flat brush for this next procedure. That's pretty much what I'm doing. And we're going to paint the stairs in with a light shade and a darker shade.
to cascade down as the steps. So we've got our blue. I need a flat. I'll grab the darker colour first. So I'll grab that. I'll lighten it up a bit. I don't want it that dark. I'm looking for the value I want. That flow paint's really good for lightening up your acrylics. That's great. Now that's still a bit too dark. Come on, get on there. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have picked that up. It's got retarda in it. It's going to take forever to dry. Not to worry. Now that's pretty much my dark value. And I will use the titanium white for the white lighter value. Now see this brush, I've mixed it up with the brush. Sometimes it's not a good idea to mix it with the brush, but what I do, all right, instead of trying to use that brush now, it's all clagged up and full of nonsense and snot. What I'm gonna do is wipe that, just, just wipe it. I'll even rinse and wash the brush again so she's all brand new, ready to go, all right? All right, now, let's load my brush up. We're gonna pretty much paint the stairs and then we'll use the white to highlight it. Okay, so I've scratched in where I want my stairs. I need me, um, my bullshit stick. And I want the top of the stairs roughly about there. Now let's hope this is flowy enough. And the width is going to be there, yeah, said the bear. I probably could have dried this as well. We're gonna come down. So I'm, I'm pretty much gonna paint the whole staircase in, in this tone, and then to make things easier, I will um, highlight it to create the shape of the stairs, all right? Where are we there? I'll paint this in. Oh, have I got the camera in the right spot? Yes. How long have we been going for? 48, oh golly. I want to try and keep it less than an hour if I can. People don't want to sit there and watch people paint for an hour, I don't think, I'm not sure. You can let me know in the comments below. Maybe some people you don't mind watching long ones and some people you don't, or let me know if you like my videos and you don't care how long they go for or they're nice videos Ian but try and keep them to such and such a time you know let me know now see what see let me show you something look at that I don't know if you can see it there's a ridge of paint there so what do I do to get rid of that is because I don't want that ridge of paint there I've got a clean surface whatever it's going to be your hand I'm, I'm using the knife and I want to Come on this side and just pull it back in, okay? Because I don't want that ridge there. I'm gonna come down here and I'm just picking up my titanium white. I've dried that so everything's gonna cover nicely. Now you can see what we've used, phthalo blue and white. I and me tidbit of quinacridone magenta and mid gray. Alrighty, now let's grab our levelling stick, our straight stick, our bullshit stick, whatever stick we want to call it. And now we're going to create the stairs. Alright, so we want the top bit coming across. Love this stick. And that doesn't have to be sharp. I'm coming backwards and forwards a bit just till it's what I want. Okay. Now I'm gonna come again. Keeping the, the level top, that's what I'm doing. And I'll come down and make the thickness of the stair And this is the tedious bit, getting all this done. You know what, I just noticed me coffee and I haven't touched it since I started this live. How long have we been live for? 
Let me have a look, 52 minutes, 81 people watching, fantastic. Thank you everybody, it's great. Don't forget you can support me by hitting that dollar sign down there in a super chat. Only the people in the live shows watching me live right here and now get the opportunity to do that. If you're watching the replay, that super chat isn't there. I have a donate button in the links below for that. Because some people, they've told me about these things and they love to s support me. So I'm very grateful for that. Plus it helps with the... Um, Maintaining costs within the art studio here, it's great. So we're all helping each other. I mean, I do these for nothing. I don't do it to get paid, but if people send donations, it's very appreciative and it's always good to let them know that they can do that. What's gonna, they're looking a bit, oh, what are you doing, Ian? Not quite sure. I've got to iffity affity the edge of these, all right, to make them look like stairs. So bear with me, it is a live video. If it wasn't a live video, I would have edited it by now, cut the camera. And um, now I don't want to make all these the, the same because this white is pretty much the top of the stair. That one's a bit fat. I'm not too keen on that. Now see here, see where I'm coming off? I'll wipe the brush up there. I'm just using this flat one, but I shouldn't use the flat one. I should use my little, because it's too... Where are we? Where is my little, my little beauty? I've got a beauty of a brush somewhere. I've just got to find it. I didn't think I'd be using it, but I've found it anyway. I want to use that to scrumble all that out. This is more direct. See what happened there now? I've gone and made snot of that, so I'll pick a bit more up in the brush. And I'm just blending that out. See, there we go. In the brush, off the brush, blend. I've got to have a look in the monitor for that. That's looking okay, not not the bad. I really could have what the I really could have done this cloud, which it doesn't matter if I'll disturb it, I'll fix it up later after this bit was done. Way I can put that highlight that cloud back up again. Come across here. How's that stairs looking? Okay, we're pretty much coming down there down there let me grab my little scrumbling brush and scrumble hang on i'm trying to make the step downs in the stairs now so that can be and then i'll look in the monitor and see how it's looking Yeah, so if you're watching the replay of this, give me a comment on my live shows. Should I do more or stick to my tutorials? Yeah, see, that's doing what I wanted it to do. I'm creating the step downs in the stairs. So where did I go? So I'm pretty much coming across that, down there, across that. Because I'm, if anything, making the, the white. Is it the white I'm using for the top of the stair? Just so long as I'm getting some kind of um, staircase look happening, aspect happening, you know. Yeah, that's working good. Oh, dying for a drink of me coffee, eh? <clears throat>
picking up the blue again so as we can um, get so we want I'll come in here a bit get that stair there There we go, and I'll wish you wash that back. There, there. This cloud face, I'm going to incorporate that back once I've finished bleeding this through there, okay? It's just because I've had to layer this section in as we did. And we can always layer that cloud back again. I just want to look in the monitor to see if that's achieving what I want. Yes, yes. Okay, so we're, we're here, there, and that's where we got to before. That's okay. And like this cloud here, so I want to, this is just repairing it. So where are we in the video there? I've, I've put it on, and now there's enough paint in the brush to scramble it back. I don't normally do it this way, but because I'm repairing it, it'll, it'll do. Uh, scrambling it back. How's it looking? Yeah, that's fun. And what do I want to do here? Now, I'll, is this dry enough? I'm gonna, oh, it's not dry up there. I will dry it up there though because uh, I've got to get some low tack tape uh, and they'll make the beautiful love rays. I call them love rays. Let's work out where we want them. Oh, you really need the, th the thinner masking tape for this, but this will do. This will do. So I'm going to start from one side and I'm just pressing that tape against my material just to lower the tack a bit more. All right, so we're going to start from here. Okay, so I want to load this brush up. Now I'm going to wipe it dry because I've just washed it and it's still a bit damp. Now I want to load that up. Okay. You want a little brush like this. And you want to wipe it, wipe it, wipe it like there's nothing on there. If that's wet, which I think it is, still too wet. Now, One side and let the other side fade. One side of it will be sharp, okay? So just down there like that. Now we're going to move this. Now I can see my little dot there. They can be all different sizes and thicknesses, so long as they're all uniform in um, dense, uh, you know, so long as they're uniform, they're not all crooked little lines. So we're very gingerly This is just a easy cheater's way, beginner's way, but it's simple. I can fade that out to there. And see when I pull it off, we're getting those love rays. You can do some, where's my little dot again? There it is. You can do some like I'll show you here. You need to do it like this, break it up a bit. Uh, do some close, get back up there you. Do some close and some wide. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. So this is a close one next to that one. And now we'll do a wider one. Where's my dot again? There it is. So we're gonna do a wider one, let's say about that far apart. Just press that down a little itty tiddly bit. And keep your strokes in the direction of the love ray. <sighs> Pull that one off. And you can see what's happening, okay? Now, after we're, we're past the 12 o'clock position, just for the sake of the painting, I'm gonna reverse the sharp side now. because I want the sharp side 
on the top of these rays. So we'll start from here again. Let's say about there. See, I'm not loading up the brush every time I'm doing one of these. It's not much on it and you don't need much on it. And that's why I dried everything. So as we can do this all the way up there. It's a bit hard to paint. I'm, you should see how I'm bent over to this canvas because the camera's in my way. Okay, and we'll do another one. See, I'm going to that dot the same all the time. That's what's going to keep it uniformed, okay? And I'll sign this here, and then we'll put a frame on it and see how sexy she looks, eh? I'm sure we all do that. All right, so let's whack a frame on this. And you know what? I've got a, another frame today. I went to the... I found it on someone's curb, and I cut it down to size. I don't know if this will suit my paintings much. How's that? You get an idea, okay? That's not too shabby. We've just got a simple array of colours there, creating a stairway to heaven with the love rays shooting out. And we've got that magenta hiding inside the tones, and that's why I've used it in my signature there as well. Be sure to look at the links in the description below. All right? Tell your friends if you like what I'm up to, but if you don't, you make sure you tell everybody, all right? All the best, goodbye, good luck, and good on you.